For some, this Microsoft 365 feature was touted as an admin marvel, but for others, this could be a privacy nightmare. You better stay tuned. Greetings my fellow YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me, especially if this is your first time. On last week's episode, I talked about some of the new and cool features that featured in part of Microsoft 365. And if you've not seen that, then I'll post that in the link. Now, one of those features was the ability to share out a user's OneDrive uh, capability for, you know, for operational reasons, you might need to do that but something I've discovered which is a little bit disturbing and something which admins shouldn't be able to do is get full access to all your users' files. And yeah, I thought that's gotta be a mistake somewhere along the line. Um, so what I've done is I've done a little bit of research. Um, I'm gonna show you, uh, first of all, how it works. And then I'm going to show you a couple of possible mitigations. So you definitely want to watch the entire video because there's some really important stuff here. So if you've not subscribed, bump the subscribe button, ring the bell, and you won't miss out on any good stuff in the future. And if you like the video, then please bump the like button. It really does help my channel. And questions, comments, get them down below. And I'd really like to know what you think. And indeed, have you discovered any potential flaws in Microsoft 365 that you think I should investigate? All right, right. Well, without any more jibber jabber, I think it's about time we jump in with the demo. Let's take a look. Now, here I am in Microsoft 365. And of course, one of the most useful applications in Microsoft 365, of course, is OneDrive. OneDrive absolutely is fantastic. It's storing your files, folders. You can share them. You can set dates on them. You can set various kinds of restrictions. And there are abs it's absolutely fantastic. You can automate it. OneDrive for Business is for personal files. Now, by default, uh, of course, users get a terabyte of storage. And you can increase that to five terabytes of storage if you've got an E3 plan or higher in Microsoft 365. Please note this also works with Business Premium, which is really cool. And you can do that by going into SharePoint. And if you go into SharePoint, you simply come down into the uh, settings. So come into settings here. And here in settings, um, you have a storage limit of one terabyte, but as I said, you can increase that up to five terabytes. Absolutely brilliant. Now, that's the good news. The bad news is this. Um, this shouldn't happen. So first of all, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to come into 365 admin. I'm going to come into my active users. Now, active users, great. Uh, I can come in here, I can create user accounts, I can manage my users, of course, and I can also help users if they've got technical problems. One of the new features that we've got in Microsoft 365 is can be found here on OneDrive. And here in OneDrive, of course, you can manage things like external sharing for the user. You can check how much disk space the user has got. You can set up retention policies and storage limits and so on. However, you, you can also, this is the new feature, you can create a link to a particular file. Um, well, you, the idea is I think that you can create a shareable link for the user or you can share the user's files with another user. So if the user leaves the company, you can reassign the user sh uh, OneDrive to a different user, which is really useful. The downside though is this you should not be able to click into here and see all the user's files. And even worse, I can click into a user here and get full access to everything. Now that should not happen in my opinion. Now, um, one of the reasons why this does happen, and I've checked this on multiple Microsoft 365 accounts, um, is that you can go up here 
into OneDrive. So here in OneDrive, you'll notice that you have got a little gear icon. And if I click onto the gear icon, if you go into OneDrive settings, and the crazy thing is that you don't have permissions to view the notification settings. Okay, that's a big deal, isn't it? But if you go into more settings, you do have the rights for everything else. And look, site collection administrators. If I go into here, look. So not only does Adele have full admin permissions, but also the administrator does as well. Now, the solution, of course, is to go ahead and remove the admin uh, permissions here. So there seems to be a lot of interest generated on the web on this. And I've been looking at the various articles on the tech community. So again, global admins showing up with access to users here, which ultimately it shouldn't happen. And again, we're starting to get a lot of questions about how to remove admin uh, settings. And there are a few of these that have got some really, really useful scripts. So definitely go and check out the Microsoft tech community uh, for this um, issue. Now, as I've said, this, in my opinion, should not happen. And what makes this even more worrying or more concerning for me, as from a security perspective, I can go into the compliance center here. Of course, it's all about privacy, uh, here in Europe, of course, GDPR, the European Data Directive. Um, I'm just very concerned that this is a breach of privacy and compliance. And in some countries, some Nordic countries, for example, um, this would not be permitted. So, uh, and the crazy thing is, uh, if you did an, to, to do a content search or to do e-discovery, you have to have special permissions to be able to do that. But to be able to go in and actually look at users' files, there's just something not right there. So there you have it. What do you think? I think it's a little bit crazy, personally. And I'm sure the alarm bells must be going off somewhere in Redmond. Um, but definitely, you definitely want to take a look at that. So if you're concerned about um, admins having too many permissions, remember, I'm a global admin. Um, from a user perspective, you definitely want to go into that settings and remove that admin uh, permissions. Now, as I said, I'm starting to see a number of scripts emerging online now, uh, which will help you through that. But I'm hoping that Microsoft will see sense and hopefully remove that. But hey, what do you think? And indeed, have you discovered any additional flaws? Because there's been so many updates recently. Sometimes little security things like that can slip by. But again, from a security and compliance perspective, that, that definitely rings my alarm bells. All right. Hey, listen, I hope you've enjoyed the session. I know it was a short one this time around, but that was an important um, thing that I discovered. Um, if you've got questions, comments about this or any of my other sessions, then of course, uh, just get them down below. And ultimately, if you've not subscribed, then do me a favor, bump that subscribe button, ring the bell, and you won't miss out on the good stuff in the future. So thanks so much for joining me. And uh, I'm Andy Malone, and I will see you next time. Okay. Take care. Thanks. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.